I have something new to show. So, of course, I got bored for the past three days. Just for fun, I was building my own sender just to see how far I can go. So, I have actually working very simple, minimalistic uh, sender. So, I call it NC Sender. So, maybe if you guys have a good name, I can rename it. But it's actually working. Core functionality is working. The code is very simple. I mean, minimal. It's not simple, it's still complicated. Um, and the only reason I was able to do this in three days is because I'm using an AI. So we work together side by side. It's still hard, even if there's an AI, it's still hard to uh, troubleshoot some of the functionality and tell, tell it what I need to, to uh, tell it what I want to happen. So without much of the introduction, so I'll show you the interface. So it's basically this it. It's a, uh, there's no settings. <laughs> there's no setting in their interface. Everything is setting using setting JSON. So right now I only have Ethernet. It's also USB is also supported. I can just say USB. So for now, I don't have an interface for setting up the settings, but I'm just gonna show it to you uh, what it works. So I'm just it's already connected. So let's try it says offline connected. Um, and then you can see the console. Console is where I focus because I'm a I'm a terminal guy. I like I like most terminal commands because I mostly I do automation and terminals where you can do everything on the CLI. Call it CLI. So here, the key benefits of my console actually console you can do everything on the CNC. In fact, all the controls that you see on the CNC are just convenient. Let's say if I jog here, you can see the jog command is here. So you can actually send a jog using Jico. If I do a long press, you see that indicator that has a spinning? If I release it, it's check. So that's also additional. There's a timestamp and there's a status indicator of that G code. And if I send invalid command, it says invalid. So it's also no and it has an X indicator. And also you can copy the this without copying the timestamp and copying the emoji. So let's say I wanna repeat this, this line, I can just do it. So homing, and if you see there's a indicator here, if I home it, see there's like a glowing blue, it's an indicator. So aside from the text, there's also an indicator for the glowing. Uh, jog, jog, jog is working. Feed rate is working. So in fact, any, anything you click on the interface, it's going to show to on the console. So in fact, it will teach you all the G code representation of each convenient uh, buttons that we click. For example, if I increase the feed rate, uh, so RPM, what it does is just keep sending 9A, 9A, 9A. It's a hex of 9A. And then if I go to reset it, it sends X99. In fact, you see if I do X, all right, I flash X99 or A. See, the scroll bar is actually going. So I can actually do everything on the console. And also, uh, look at the history here. Uh, one of the G sender is when, when I refresh or reload the page, my history is gone. This one is it can persist. So even if I close this, it, it has all my uh, history up uh, command. Let's say send the spindle. And then let's lower the R. Yeah, it's real time. And MPI, stop it. So uh, what else? So it's actually also, there's a light mode. That's a light mode. Settings, this is provision. Uh, and then 
Actually, this is also working if I run the program. Let's load it. It's a very simple G code. So click the start cycle. Start running. And let me stop this. I'll pause it. Stop. Oh, actually, let me uh, play it again. And I can directly press stop without worrying abrupt alarm. Because I issue a pause and then a sub reset. And here it also tells you that this line of G code was cancelled. And also tell you the line 65. This is actually correct port number if I open the Let's actually validate that. So this one is, this is the G code that failed because this is also the one of the bug uh, I noticed on G sender. It doesn't return. Oh yeah, exactly. It's line sixty five. So there's a command in here, bunch of command, and in fact, if we go here, it's also show here. Yeah. So it sh show exactly line by line what your G code is, uh, G code programming is. So let's clear it. Also, if I reset this, create another instance. I also make sure it's synced together. So if I send a command, that one, that one, that one. See that one? And now I'll go back up, uh, go to the other instance. It's identical. So if I jog here, the other the other screen is also has those log history so i can go in multiple screen and it always have the same if i load the program here okay it works and if i run this let's run it and let's close it it will run because technically our UI is just a UI. There's already a server running. So now if I open it, open it again, and I'm Safari now. Although our 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 prog is too short, let's load a longer one. So uh, let's see if I have a longer G code. Okay, there's a uh, Millennium Falcon. Okay, let's run this. Might also use different bits. So there's a tool change here. Okay. I'm gonna close this. Why my Chrome lived in? Okay, I'm open. Uh, one problem in G Sender is when I close all the client and open it again, it will stop the job. This one doesn't stop the job because technically, this client is not its interface. It's just an interface. This is not really what talk to the controller. We only initiate the command through this UI, but the 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 controller that's sending the G code is on the back end. So yeah, I can close my interface and still can you working. And by the way, the server is running somewhere on my other computer, which is connected to the controller. So let me stop this. There we go. I can also do a tool change D2. Okay. I'm already, wait. What tool number I am? Let's see, M61 Q1. Okay. M62. There you Yeah, 
So I can also do, what else I do have in here? Oh, I can also hide the line. Oops, <laughs> I hide everything. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. I only did it in three days. Um, I can't wait how many things I can add on for a few more days. Uh, but my, my goal is just to have a minimalistic interface and the thing that I need and also I need to optimize this for uh, I think I already doing it like for example a vertical this is the vertical it's too small to show it for the simulation but vertical layout is already almost good so I just need to add more jog controls uh, other than that I can, I can cycle it again there you go. So I can have uh, another interface there. I got another interface here. Although the log in here only get the what's the current and the future one, not the past. So here I have two interface, this one and this one. You can see run is uh run is glowing so we're running it or i can another have an interface in here which is white and now i can have three interface different view simulating like different devices i can even uh do a pause here by sending a command and set up the and then resume that's why i told you Console is very powerful. You can do everything on the console. Uh, and button are just for convenience. And then I can pause it again. And I can even send the stop. 18. That's the code for stop. I can send also because here in the console you can do a lot of things. You can just ask a hey, uh, help. And if you look, there's also the formatting is indent, indented. So it doesn't, like, the response doesn't have a timestamp. Here, there's a help, there's a timestamp. So help command, help, actually, like, up command. Commands. All right, go. Or I can do question mark for real time report. Or I can do dollar one. Dollar two, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna experiment using this for a while, see how stable it is. But so far, been running it stable, both USB and Ethernet works work. Um, code base, it's on my repository. And I was, was surprised, it's it's very minimal code so far. Uh, I. I base some of this on Gcenter, where like, like this component for rendering the G code. I just discovered that this is just a tree JS that they use, so I use the same thing. And then this is the only mostly things that I look on Gcenter when I wrote the viewer. But other than that, instead of looking on the existing code, I actually start from scratch because I'm a software engineer and I do a lot of uh design uh, architect so i applied here here to make it more simple follow my best practices like dry keys yagni principles so i always apply that on separate development that's why i end up with very super lean code but still functional okay yeah so can't wait to maybe one more week and see how far i can go Stay tuned if you want. If you are interested, uh, maybe you can subscribe to my channel. I'll post more of this video's uh, development. Okay, talk to you later, guys. Bye.